Five vegetables to avoid if you have kidney problems. We all know vegetables are good for our health, but for people with kidney problems, some can be surprisingly harmful. So, if you have kidney issues or just want to keep your kidneys happy, this video is for you. Before we dive into the five vegetables you should limit or avoid, it's important to understand the two main culprits for these, potassium and phosphorus content. Normally, these minerals are good for you, but when your kidneys are weak, they may have trouble keeping them at healthy levels, which can lead to potential health risks. High potassium levels in the blood can disrupt the electrical signals in your heart, potentially leading to irregular heart rhythm, muscle weakness, and paralysis in severe cases. On the other hand, high phosphorus in the blood can steal calcium from bones, making them weak. It can also cause calcium deposits to build up in organs like the heart and lungs, increasing the risk of heart attack, stroke, and breathing problems. The five vegetables that we're going to discuss are high in these two minerals, which is why you need to avoid or limit them. First on our list is spinach. This leafy green vegetable is a good source of potassium, with about 558 to 840 milligrams per 100 grams when cooked. It's also high in oxalates, which can bind with calcium in your kidneys and form kidney stones. For people prone to kidney stones, it's best to limit this green. Instead, opt for leafy veggies that are low in potassium, phosphorus, and oxalates like bok choy and napa and green cabbage. Second on our list is Swiss chard. Similar to spinach, Swiss chard is another leafy green vegetable that is high in potassium and oxalates. A 100-gram cooked Swiss chard contains about 549 milligrams of potassium, so better limit this green. Another vegetable you should watch out for is beet greens. The leafy tops of beets are also high in potassium. A 100 grams of cooked beet greens contains about 909 to 1,309 milligrams of potassium, which is really high, so take note of this. Fourth, potatoes. Potatoes are a good source of potassium and phosphorus. So, if you have kidney disease, you may need to limit your intake of both of these minerals. A medium potato contains about 620 milligrams of potassium per 100 gram serving. Before we continue, if you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. The last one on our list is tomato. Tomatoes are great, but they're also high in potassium and phosphorus. A medium tomato contains about 237 to 292 milligrams of potassium and 28 milligrams of phosphorus per 100 grams. So, limit these vegetables and choose other veggies that are not only healthy, but could also benefit your kidneys such as kale, cabbage, cauliflower, and bell peppers.